So guys, talking about Mazin Namdekano continued incarceration in the DSS custody, President Bola Metinobo has been ordered to release Namdekano immediately. Also, the, the President of America, Donald Trump, have sent a shocking message. So we, we will take them one after the other. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for late stopping by. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. So, Igbo leaders has once again asked President Bola Meitunibu to do the needful. What is the needful? Getting Mazinam the Kano release. You understand? So, they are saying that uh, I think it's high time to engage, you know, with traditional rulers like the Oba of Lagos and the Sultan of Sokoto to help facilitate the settlement of Kano's matter, because this is really, you know, going to another dimension. He's taking, you know, too much. So they said that these people should engage Donald Trump on Mazina Kano's release. You understand? Since the Nigerian government have refused to do the needful, they should engage Donald Trump to make sure that Mazin Kano is released. Why? So that the Southeast will enjoy peace. Today, gunmen invaded Abia. If you see what it then do for them. And, you know, with what is happening right now, the issue of insecurity now, he don't even pass IPOB agitators. Because when you see what is happening, you can understand that some persons are now taking Mazin Kano as a tool to commit crimes in the Southeast in the name of, you know, uh, uh, asking or protesting for Kano's release. You understand? It's just like when people, they talk, say, make the government, uh, make sure, say, maybe if the license is gone, everybody go, go get access to go and take defend themselves. Uh, against but Bele Ijabuda people when they cause pains to Nigerians. Don't also forget that there are so many persons who are bad, who has this evil mind. You understand? They have been looking for a way to carry out their evil day, but they never get the opportunity. So people come they talk, say, if gun enter everybody's hand, the matter go worse to where well. So the best thing is for the Nigerian government to do the needful that is protecting lives and properties of every individual in the country. That one just enter. So, my people, Nam the Kano Mata. On Sunday, Ike Chuku Isia Guzoro is a chieftain of APIS Igbo Sushura. Igbo social cultural organization organizing the Igbo. So he urged the Southeast leaders to engage the president elect of the United States, Donald Trump, on the release of Nam the Kano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP. Isia Guzero also called for the engagement of some traditional rulers like the Oba of Lagos and the Sultan of Sokoto to help facilitate the settlement of Kano's matter. In a statement he signed, Ike Chiku called to cut for ceasefire among agitators to allow a peaceful atmosphere across the Southeast. The statements read partly, In the face of this challenging landscape, we must adopt a multi-fisted strategy to advocate for Kano's immediate release. Mobilizing international influence, we must urgently seek to engage the former president, Donald Trump, appealing for him to apply pressure on both Biafran's uh, Prime Minister and uh, President Tunubu, as Kano was once a vocal, please pardon me, on both Britain's Prime Minister and President Tunubu, as Kano was once a vocal supporter of Trump. The relationship can serve as a powerful diplomatic tool in our quest for justice, engaging traditional leadership. We propose immediate outreach to the Oba of Lagos and the Sultan of Sokoto. Their influential position allow them to act as mediators who can help facilitate constructive dialogue necessary for resolving this matter. Ceasefire among agitators. We can call we, we call for a tactical ceasefire from agitation groups to create a peaceful atmosphere conducive to negotiations 
an, an environment of calm where we enhance the potential for meaningful discussions surrounding Inam the Canon's release. So let it be stated that the Southeast Governor's continued inaction reflects an unforgivable re disregard for Nam Kano and its supporters. Moreover, the reluctance of some Igbo traditional rulers and the crisis uh, to stand by clerics, please pardon me, and clerics to stand by Kano during pivotal moment raises serious questions about the integrity of their commitment to our cause. Was their presence in previous court sessions mainly uh, performative, a shallow gesture devoid of true allegiance? He asked. So guys, kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you and bye for now.